The Center for Audit Quality presents Profession in Focus. Welcome to this edition of Profession in Focus. I'm Cindy Fernelli, Executive Director for the Center for Audit Quality, and I'm pleased today to have as our guest Kathleen Hamm. Kathleen is the global leader of securities and fintech services at Promontory Financial Group, where she recently came from the Department of Treasury, where she served as counselor to the Deputy Secretary, with a focus on the development of both a domestic and international cybersecurity strategy for the Treasury Department. So a big job, and I know you'll have a lot to share with us about what you learned along the way. I also want to note that Kathleen serves on the Center for Audit Quality Cybersecurity Advisory Panel, and we're very thankful for your service and your insights that you provide for us on that. So thank you all around to you, uh, Kathleen, for your service both to the country and to our markets and to the CAQ. Because you've seen the importance of both the government and the private sector working together. And it seems as though we're not going to be able to tackle this unless we do work together, the, the public-private uh, partnership is it sometime referred to. W what do you think is the optimal role for the private sector in this relationship? So I'll start with the government's role because there are unique capabilities that the government has that the private sector can rely on. And those um, we learned and drove forward uh, at Treasury. And that includes using our bully pulpit to help identify and drive forward baseline protection at private institutions. It also was making sure that we encourage financial institutions and private sector entities to share cyber threat, vulnerability, and incident information. Importantly, the government alone has uh, law enforcement and diplomatic channels that they can exercise to drive forward uh, cybersecurity and resiliency. But as to the private sector individually, what we do know is that approximately 80% of all cyber attacks could be prevented by engaging in basic hi cyber hygiene. 80%, that's a shocking number, but hopeful because it is something we can control a little right. bit. Right, and that is something within the unique purview of the private sector. So what is basic cyber hygiene? That includes things like scanning your uh, uh, systems for uh, uh, vulnerabilities. It also means routinely patching your software. It means uh, uh, deploying multi-factor authentication. Importantly, you can restrict special high-level access to your systems to only the individuals who need that access. So that's engaging in basic cyber hygiene. But in addition to those basic activities, also importantly for the um, private sector is to um, embed cybersecurity and resiliency into your core controls, your governance structure, your um, enterprise risk management, and also your control infrastructure. And why is it important to embed it? It becomes part and parcel of the way you do business. It becomes part of the DNA of an organization. And once it's embedded, and it's part of your people, your process, and your technology, it is difficult to circumvent or undermine. Well, that's an important takeaway for all of us, uh, the basic hygiene. And I know this is probably an unfair question, but is there one other piece of advice that you would give businesses as they think about their cybersecurity uh, protection programs? The one piece of advice that I would um, give to private sector firms and any institution is to have a strategy. And that strategy should be informed by your specific risks, um, as well as your business and operational and legal environment. Informed by um, that strategy can help drive forward your cybersecurity and resiliency. When I started at the Department of Treasury in 2014, um, 
the Department of Treasury as well as generally the financial service sector community, regulatory community, was more reactive than proactive. And we did more um, responding to cyber incidents and uh, uh, threats than we did proactively preventing. Um, so we were more engaged in firefighting than fire prevention. And so at Treasury, over the two and a half years that I was there, we drove forward, we developed a strategy that um, we could bring the financial services sector together and drive forward the security, the cybersecurity and resiliency of the sec sector generally. So I would recommend that each in institution, private or public, develop a strategy that's tailored to its specific r risk and then implement that strategy. And in that way, you can um, enhance the resiliency of your institution. Excellent advice. Well, Kathleen, thank you so much for joining us. And thanks to all of you for joining this edition of Profession in Focus. Mm -hmm.